What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Do I look a little bit lighter today? Uh, I feel a little bit lighter, but maybe I think it's because I just trimmed my beard. Yep. I lost probably, you know, 10, 15 pounds, I think. Anyways, on this week's video, we're going to go over the Yee Smart Dash camera that I installed on the Subaru just a couple weeks ago. I had some time with it now, so I'll be able to share my thoughts and uh, review it with you here on the channel. So, let's jump in the Subaru and then um, take a look at it. It's a nice day here, about 57 in Portland. It's pretty crazy. Here it is all mounted up right underneath my mirror. It's looking pretty good. So far I like where I put it. I mean it's uh, really easy to see and everything and plus after about I think it's about 30 or 60 seconds it just automatically turns off. You can set that, change it to whatever but the screen turns off and then it just displays uh, the time and everything so you're not constantly paying attention to uh, what's recording. So let's go ahead and uh, start up the car and then you'll be able to see what it does. So if you can look at that, it might be kind of hard to see because it's kind of bright out. But So as you can see here, as soon as you turn the car on, it starts recording. I don't know if you, oh, there you go. So see how the screen turns to the clock and then it just has the date. It's probably hard to see kind of hard to get but that's the screen that you see all the time when you're driving I believe you can turn that off but it's actually a lot better than seeing yourself driving all the time it kind of gets distracting annoying I guess but yeah so as soon as you turn the car on it turns right on so it's it's pretty nice so you don't even have to think about it or anything so it's pretty convenient, as long as make sure you always keep a memory card in there, or else, you know, obviously it's not going to record. But the thing about the recording is you really don't have to put, like, a large uh, memory card in it, because it just continuously records. So if there's not an accident or anything like that, it just records over whatever it's already recorded. So it's, you know, constantly just looping, which is really good. And then... The feature to get around that is like if something happens or anything like that, it has a shock sensor on it. So what happens is if you, let's say, slam on the brakes or hit something or anything like that, what happens is it senses that and then it immediately saves that so it won't be recorded over in a separate file on the memory card. So that's awesome. And it also has a feature. If you look here, let's see if we can... So if you're driving down the street, blah, 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 and then something happens, something crazy, you, you know, you want to, I don't know, save or for a viral video or whatever the hell you want to do, you just hit this record button right here and then it goes urgent recording and then it's going to count down and then it's going to save that file so that you don't have to worry about it getting, you know, written over, recorded over, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty badass. So now let's try and take a look at some of the features that it has so we'll go to the menu here and then if you can see you have this here is the resolution and the frames per second I do uh, 1080 30 frames per second you can switch that between a bunch of different things but that's pretty much the the go-to and then uh, we navigate through the menu you can go to turning the microphone on and off if you want the sound, which I have my sound off. I don't really want people uh, hearing what I say on my <laughs> if I get in a wreck or anything like that. But uh, then you have this. This uh, this is the sensor that the uh, the uh, camera has on it, so that if you get in a wreck it senses or hard braking or hard acceleration or whatever you can set if you want it soft medium or you know extra sensitive so that you you know whatever you get what I'm saying then on the next part here's your LCD uh, on and off you can switch it in between you know off in five minutes one minute 
10 minutes, keep it on all the time. I just like the one minute setting. And then we go over to the, uh, let's see, the ADAS. That's like the, the ADAS is advanced driving assist or some, I don't remember what the hell it stands for, but basically it's for uh, lane changing and stuff like that. Or, you know, like, uh, drifting off into the lanes or if somebody stops in front of you sudden, it warns you just with a uh, sound like, you know, warning, warning, whatever. I don't know what it does. I tried using it. It was actually pretty annoying. So I don't have a lot of experience with it, but it just annoyed the shit out of me. So I just turn, I just leave it off, but it could be good for, you know, somebody, I don't know. But the other things on the menu, um, this is the Wi-Fi on, you turn the Wi-Fi and you can, this actually will connect to your phone. There's an app that you can get that will connect, you know, in between the camera and your phone and you can do, they have a bunch of stuff. You can, uh, what am I trying to say? You basically, you can view the videos that are on the camera on your phone stuff like that you can upload to their website blah 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 you know share the crazy videos that you get on there or Rex or whatever you want to do but uh I haven't really played with that all that much because I don't really care but somebody might and then uh you got the micro SD card that's just so you could format it to the camera and then the screen if you wanted to mount this upside down or right side up or whatever you want to say it's got that, so you can just switch that and it'll turn it upside down, depending on how you mounted it. Then we got uh, the date and the time, you know, just your basic stuff. Then you got uh, power on sound. That's if, you know, if you want the uh, sounds on when you hit the buttons and stuff like that. You know, all that crap. And then uh, the driver report. I don't even know what that is. Let's go into that and check that out. Oh, that must be part of the app. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. But I'll have to investigate in that, I guess. But that's pretty much the camera. I've noticed it uh, It works pretty good. The only thing that I don't like about it is when you use the footage off the camera, it has a Yi um, watermark on it which is kind of annoying, but it's advertising it for them and it's whatever. I don't know, you know. So, I mean, for a $47, I think it was $47 or right around $50. It's under $50. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was $47 on Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description so that you can click on the link and then it'll bring you to the camera and then you can check it out for yourself. Maybe purchase one, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, for that cheap of a camera it works really good the video is really good quality the uh i really have no nothing that i don't like about it except for i don't know it's all good like so far i've <laughs> i've caught a couple dummies on a uh, camera and i've saved it but uh i do think i'll show you some uh video that i got from the camera just so you could see like the quality uh, maybe some at night and then some during the day. That way you can see for yourself how it looks. But it does capture a lot of dumb people driving. It's pretty nice. But I haven't caught anybody doing something really stupid. Just people cutting me off, which is not that exciting. But, uh, yeah. I would strongly recommend this camera. Um, for the price, it's pretty awesome. With that being said, I think I'm going to end the video uh, a little short today. 
Uh, sorry about that, but I just wanted to give an update. I had a couple people asking me, um, you know, like, I want to know more about the camera, blah, 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 you know. So hopefully this gives you more of an idea of the camera. I know the install video was, you know, it was just kind of part of my vlog, so it wasn't just a exact how to install it or whatever, but, you know, it was a basic. Anyways, um, I will put a link to the uh, first video that I did of installing the, the uh, dash cam so you can check that out. Um, also, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to uh, comment on the video, uh, like the video, share the video, and most importantly, help support me in the channel by subscribing and we'll have lots more videos coming uh, every Sunday, 8 p.m., plus or minus usually. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out. Have a good one.